turned out the new man? Tolkien. It's pronounced Tolkien. I didn't know much about Tolkien's life. I was aware of his work and a big fan of it, so to see everything that happened to him in his life, his experiences, his relationships, and how that influenced him as a writer, it was just magical. Ronald, your dying mother trusted your education to me. We chose this time frame, you know, us showing Tolkien's younger years, is that so much happened that kind of grew and made Tolkien who he is. He lost his parents, he found love, he found friends, he went to war, and all that can be told in a very cinematic way. We should form a club, a brotherhood. We change the world through the power of art. Music, poetry. And what about Tolkien? I want to write something. You know, Tolkien and you just imagine, you know, stuffy old man or whatever, but you realize that he was a young man making mistakes and falling in love and getting in fights and just like everyone does. For an intellectual, you have quite an impressive right hook. It brought it back to a very modern place. Audiences may just assume that it's a period piece, whereas in fact, these experiences are timeless. Tell me a story. It's about journeys. Very early on, I wanted to somehow show how his imagination is being built throughout his early years. They insert this fantastical, surrealistic world into the very humanistic, natural piece. You start to see characters forming or ideas coming about that ended up being in Tolkien's world. Since childhood, I have been fascinated with language, obsessed with it. I've invented my own. It is a good story, and I think people will be fascinated by it. War! War! England's at war! You have a duty to fulfill, and you will fulfill it wrong. Tolkien! Get it's kind of this incredible story of love and friendship and fellowship and, and finding your voice. You get to ex experience it through his eyes and hopefully people will be inspired by it.